PDP chief Mehbooba Mufti becomes the first woman chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir. BJP's Nirmal Singh is part of her 22 member council of ministers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extends best wishes to the new government, hopes that it will fulfill dreams and aspirations of the people of the state. Heavy voting in the first phase of polling in Assam and West Bengal. Assam registered 70% voting for 65 seats, while West Bengal saw 80% voting in 18 constituencies. The first round was by and large peaceful, except for minor incidents. Election Commission also issues notification for fifth phase polling in West Bengal. At least one person has been killed and 20 others injured in a blast caused by an improvised explosive device near a police station in Dudnoi in Assam's Golpara district on Monday. Three policemen were also injured in the blast. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has hinted that government will continue to pursue the path of robust economic reforms. Speaking at a CII function in New Delhi today, he made a strong case for reasonable interest rates in the country, warning that the high rates can have a sluggish impact on the economy. Government forms multi-agency group to monitor illegal accounts named in Panama paper leaks. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley says multi-agency group including CBDT and RBI has been set up on Prime Minister's instructions to monitor disclosures and take action against those found guilty. The Special Court awards a four-year jail term to Jharkhand Espath Private Limited Directors R.S. Rungta and R.C. Rungta in the coal scam case. The court also imposes fine of 5 lakh rupees each on the Rungtas and 25 lakh rupees on GIPL. On 28th March, the Special Court had convicted GIPL and its two directors in a case pertaining to irregularities in allotment of a coal block in the state to the firm. A special CBI court on Friday held 47 policemen guilty of killing 10 men in three fake encounters in a single night in Pilibhit district of Uttar Pradesh nearly 25 years ago in July 1991. The CBI had investigated the case on the directions of the Supreme Court. A total of 57 policemen were charged cheated in the case of which 10 died in the course of the trial. Government ranks Indian Institute of Science Bangalore as the top university of the country. IAM Bangalore becomes the top management institute and IIT Madras has been declared the best engineering institution. Union HRD Minister Smriti Irani releases result of a survey of educational institutions commissioned by the government. The unique identification authority of India generated the 100th crore Aadhaar today, touching the landmark in a span of five and a half years since the first Aadhaar was issued in 2010. This comes just a few days after a historic legislation, Aadhaar Act 2016, was notified by the government. Aadhaar coverage now is at 93% among people above the age of 18. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will launch a Stand Up India scheme and a web portal for the scheme tomorrow. The Stand Up India scheme is being launched to promote entrepreneurship among scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and women for loans in the range of 10 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees. Commerce and Industry Minister Nirmala Sitaraman says negotiations for a free trade agreement between India and Australia are moving forward and both sides are probably getting nearer to conclusion of talks. She added that India hopes to move fast on the FTA with the European Union. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in Brussels recently at the 13th India-EU summit where trade featured in a big way. Government has emphasized that the challenges presented by climate change can be mitigated by adopting latest technology for saving water and using water more efficiently. Speaking at the inaugural function of the fourth India Water Week in New Delhi today, Environment Minister Prakash Javrekar said, The ferocity and frequency of erratic monsoons, untimely rains and more cycles of droughts and floods is being witnessed. Uttar Pradesh ATS launches massive hunt to nab the assailants of slain NIA officer Tanzil Ahmed. Initial forensic reports are being analysed critically. The spot of the killing is also being scarred for clues. Investigating agencies have so far not ruled out the terror angle. Meanwhile, wife of the slain officer Farzana is still under critical care at a hospital in Noida. At least 25 people have been killed and dozens wounded in bomb blasts across Iraq today, media reports say. As many as 10 suicide bombers carried out the attacks, which reportedly targeted members of the security forces and allied Shia Muslim militias. The Islamic State group, which holds territory in the north and west, said it was behind some of the attacks. India's star batsman Virat Kohli has maintained his number one position in the ICC T20 batsman rankings. West Indies, who won the World T20 title, have number one ranked India firmly within their sides after they became the only side to win the tournament twice.